there, friends. Happy Saturday morning. Welcome to Take 5 with GPS. Delighted to be with you on this, uh, the last Saturday of the month of February, and really looking forward to sharing with you one more time uh, some black excellence, some inspiration here uh, together today. So please sign in, say good morning to each other. Let us know how you're doing, how the weather is, where you are and looking forward to embracing this beautiful day. Lots of sunshine here in the Twin Cities. It's gonna be mild and spring-like and we're going to embrace that the best way that we know how. Today, I'm delighted to introduce you to another giant, a legend in the STEM world, the science, technology, uh, you know, engineering and mathematics world. Another one of my namesakes here, another George, George Edward Alcorn Jr who did some amazing work with NASA, a distinguished professor, wonderful accolades in many ways that he is still contributing to our society today. So uh, stick around for that inspiration in a moment. And we'll also delve in back to the uh, Motown and the Four Tops for our musical uh, inspiration today as well. But as always is our tradition, let's just check out how our bodies are doing this morning. So lengthen your spine a little bit. Just check out how you're sitting. Coax your body into movement this morning here. Wiggle those toes, wiggle those fingers. Just start to shimmy and shake a little bit here and move around. And when you've got the blood flowing, take a moment here and just embrace the day with an inhalation up to the sky through your ceiling. Exhale it out. And if you don't have a big window in front of you that you can look out on your way up, just imagine what it looks like. Inhale. Exhale it out again there again. One more time, friends. In and up. Exhale it out. Open those arms up into a nice hug. Let's hug ourselves to love ourselves on this Saturday morning. Inhale, exhale while you're there. Other arm on top. Inhale, exhale. Now take a moment, put your hands in front here, and I want you to push out as though your hands are a machine. When one arm's going out, I want you to exhale. Shh. When it comes back, inhale, exhale. Shh. Shh. Two more times. Shh. Last one. Shh. It's so important that we consciously use our breath each and every day uh, as we get our bodies going here. Let's use that SH now to lead into our vocalizing this morning. Shoo, shoo, sho, sho, sha. Here we go. Shoo, shoo, sho, sho, sha. 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 One more. Let's keep that same pattern now, and we'll sing, uh, I'll reach out to you, a little foreshadowing of our song. I'll reach out to you, I'll reach out to you. You can add that gesture in. I'll reach out to you, I'll reach out to you, I'll reach out to you. See someone, reach to them. I'll reach out to you. One more. I'll reach out to you. Let's be playful here now. We're going to sing. Oh my, oh my, what a lovely day. Here we go. Oh my, oh my, what a lovely day. Oh my, oh my, what a lovely day. What a lovely day. Work on your expression. Oh my, oh my, what a lovely day. See someone to talk to. Oh my, oh my, what a lovely day. One more. Oh my, oh my, what a lovely day. You know, during this time, we're beginning to, to get out into the world a little more but we still do need to practice our expression and still get our faces animated and really just 
work on uh, showing how we emote and how we feel. That's the one thing being behind the mask that's been different. People can't see our expressions anymore, and we don't want to lose that ability to communicate non-verbally. Well, today, as I mentioned, we're going to celebrate and honor one of my namesakes, George Edward Alcorn, Jr. He's got a birthday coming up here very soon, a physicist, an engineer, an inventor, and a distinguished professor. Um, he has over 30 inventions and holds eight patents that resulted to him being inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2015. He has a long legacy that I could, it would take two or three episodes to recount all of his distinguished accomplishments. But let me give you a little bit here. Uh, he's taught at Howard University and also the University of the District Columbia, and he's done that work for over 30 years now, teaching in both universities, engineering departments there. And he worked primarily for IBM and also at NASA. And one of the reasons that we're highlighting him today is because of his X-ray spectrometer, which was um, amazing work that he did uh, to help develop and further the scientific field. As you can see, he was awarded an uh, inventor of the year in 1984. A lot of this work is with plasma etching for semiconductor devices. So this is stuff that I have no idea about. But I know as I read more and more about the way that he worked with aluminum and magnoelectronic imaging and whatnot, so many things that have helped so many different facets of the space exploration field to move further and to advance. He also has been the leader of several of the most recent uh, uh, voyages to outer space where he had a leadership role in making those trips to come to fruition. And most importantly, he's a young man and he's still working this day and still creating, still inventing, still inspiring young minds. Uh, he has given countless number of hours and finances to devote to helping black children to move into the field of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, as well as mentorship as well. George Edward Alcorn Jr., our shining example of black excellence on this day. And since he's another one that reaches out into outer space, I thought we'd have fun and go back to Motown. You all seem to love it when we go to Motown. And we're going back to the Four Tops with a little bit of reach out, I'll be there. I know you all know this one here. So let's have fun with it. I can't decide if I'm gonna sing up or down, so we'll all be surprised together here. Oh, 
so I had to run it all on my own, but I'll be there to love and carry you, to shelter and bring you through. I hope you had fun uh, singing a little Four Tops with me today. I also hope you had fun and you were inspired by uh, the work of George Edward Alcorn Jr. and his amazing work in the STEM field. So have a great Saturday, everyone. I'm just going to scroll through the comments here. I really appreciate all of your comments, all of your likes, all of your shares. And I look forward to rounding out the month of February with you tomorrow with a special Sunday edition. And as I mentioned, we're going to continue on honoring and celebrating black excellence in the month of March, the first part of March, focusing on black genius and creativity in women. So black women. So take care, friends. Have a wonderful, terrific Saturday. And we'll see you again tomorrow morning now. Bye-bye.